Hi, everyone. This is Tim Woods, uh, the big chief of the Thunderbirds, and we're back in the community uh, talking with one of our special partners, uh, longtime partners, and, uh, and just a, a wonderful organization. And we're talking with Elena Z, the president and CEO of the Arizona Council on Economic Education. Elena, how's it going? Good. Thank you. Nice to see you, Tim. Good. Well, thanks for spending some time with us. You know, let's uh, let's just kind of start out maybe um, with the background on the organization and what it means to the community and, and maybe kind of get into, you know, snapshot in time, what's going on with ACEE right now. So Arizona Council on Economic Education, we really believe that every student needs to have the opportunity to uh, grow up and become financially and economically responsible in work and life. And we have a responsibility to teach them the skills to become that. And how do we make sure that every student gets this opportunity? And uh, it's in our uh, education system. So uh, we partner very closely with um, K-12 um, public school teachers to provide the teachers with uh, um, very engaging curriculum, um, teaching strategies, um, and instruction to uh, teach uh, the subject of personal finance and economics at, 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 in their classrooms. So how did you kind of gain a foothold, um, you know, here in the Valley? Back in the 19, mid-1970s, actually, a group of educators in Southern Arizona um, with University of Arizona School of Business faculty members, they just got together kind of casually and say, hey, how can we develop some lessons that we can insert into the math class, the history class, the English language class, that why are they teaching math? They're also teaching personal finance and economics. And so the curriculum was developed with a lot of input, collaboration with the teachers, and they just started sharing it with more teachers. And through word of mouth, 10 teachers become 20 and 40, and now we have a network of 13,000 teachers who use our services regularly, and we are a statewide organization. Uh, we are also a part of, uh, affiliated with the National Council for Economic Education, so sharing best practices with even broader network of educators um, to support economic education. And since then, Arizona has um, um, a requirement now to teach personal finance and economics. Uh, and we have standards from kindergarten level to 12th grade. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, again, you do such tremendous work and, and we're firm believers in it uh, from the Thunderbirds perspective and um, you're such great partners. Um, what could the public do just to let, you know, the, the person that's seeing this right now um, do to, to help your cause to plug in, um, whether it's financial or, you know, any resource or time, um, what does that look like? Well, get involved. Um, uh, number one is uh, is around the advocacy, it, you, you know, that to to make sure that the schools continue to um, provide this uh, personal finance, economics, education opportunity to the students. Uh, number one is advocacy. Number two is volunteering, uh, roll up sleeves, and to to help. And uh, I I would say that this time because. Uh, the schools are still trying to find their anchor, right, for figuring things out. So um, uh, volunteers need to be a little bit patient, um, and, uh, but they need help. They need financial support. So uh, that is that is nonstop every day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, well, good. Well, you know, again, I, I just, I think this is a, an incredible cause. Um, and, you know, the, the, the services that you provide, uh, the training and just the education um, is wonderful. I, I, I certainly wish there was, uh, you know, looking back, uh, a program, you know, like, like this that I, I, I could have taken, you know, maybe advantage of and, and balance my checkbook a little better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it, it's, it, it is wonderful. And truly, like you said, it's, it's very cool to see how um, uh, 
you know, how something like this starts, um, you know, with just an idea. And then, you know, now, like you're talking, you know, tens, uh, tens to fifties to 200, you know, a couple hundred teachers involved. And now it's, you know, it's really spread. Um, and, and it's, uh, it certainly is making a, a positive impact um, for, uh, uh, for all of us, uh, quite frankly, as you know, um, you know, personal finances don't just, uh, don't just impact the individual. Um, we all share this, uh, this country. And, and, uh, and so it's, it's wonderful. I just want to thank Thunderbirds Charities, the consistent, the strong support uh, you and the team have given us um, and the students in this mission. I, I cannot thank you enough on behalf of all of our board of directors. I'll take those thanks and, and back to the group and our staff and our board members. Um, and uh, it's, it's the only reason we exist. It was really, really nice talking to you. Um, and uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Great. Thank okay. you so much.